How are we doing on this fine day today YouTube? So today you're all going to be learning and I'm hopefully going to be teaching and giving some tips on how to always come top of the leaderboard, especially on shipment. But for most maps, these uh, tips will apply, but this is going to focus on shipment. It's going to focus on how you can get the most XP, get the most anything out of this game. I've had a match where I got 90,000 XP in this game, so it re they really do work. And these are going to be some tips. It's going to be, there's this simple obvious ones like just practice, understand. Uh, understand the map, understand the game, understand your guns, everything like that. I'm just going to go into more detail throughout this. I'm going to show you a clip that I have of a match on shipment. It's my first game back. I start off really bad, so that's probably what you're seeing now. Just a fast forwarded bit of the first half where I join late, I start bad, and I believe I can get around 24 for 20 at that point. But then the next half begins, and that's where I'll go into detail because that is where I step up my game, and it's where I show you the things that I use to always come to the top of the table because I'm pretty sure in every game that I play so far, I come top. My most kills is 260. I believe with uh, every other game being about a hundred plus if I start from the beginning so hopefully I want to make it so you guys will be like that so if I ever come up against you guys we're gonna be having a crazy match it's just gonna be insane and intense and just I want to make uh, everyone a bit bit better think a bit more about what you do in the game and just methods of actually putting it all together and then putting it out so this is gonna be like a little lesson so I hope you enjoy the lecture. So the first bit I'm going to talk about is playing the game and playing the game means basically to play as in like mess about with understand and play at its own game of Call of Duty, of shipment, of the players on the map so that means knowing the spawns, knowing how they quickly can change even though it's domination, even though it should be near their flags, they can spawn anywhere and there's a way that you can predict this to a certain extent and there's a way that you can just understand what's going to happen next. So to do so you need to look at your minimap and wherever the majority of your team is, opposite that that is likely to be their team now if there's like players scattered about then kind of good based on where they are like if, if your team's just started taking a flag they're not going to spawn near that flag they're going to spawn uh, uh, either to the right or to the left of it not opposite because your team will probably have that flag and they'll, they'll do that so you, what you want to do is you want to look at that know where they're going to spawn and predict your methods around this this is how you do it in a solo game because if you're in a team you should be able to kind of crack the code by yourself by spawn killing and getting into their own place so you get the most kills but that's not my style i don't find that fun i, I enjoy playing the game in a sense and it's like i want to make you guys understand that like you can predict this by yourself in a solo attempt to get over 100 over 200 to beat your best kills no matter what it is could be a little bit high we don't mind we just want to do the best that we can do so this that is what happens i predict it i put an airstrike for example put that in this space where i think they are going to be sometimes it's rare sometimes it's rare, and you just use that to your advantage and you push them about using this and this is how you do it and second i want to talk about is in fact Sensitivity. Now, I, I believe in high sensitivity being good sensitivity, but it's how you play. But I suggest getting at least seven so you can quickly turn on people as the spawns change. For your helicopters and kill streaks, you're going to want to get the kill streaks, get one helicopter. If there's a helicopter in the sky, you don't get the helicopter, you probably want to die before that, unless you really want to go for a high kill streak because it can happen. Then you're going to want to, in fact, keep going and just wait for the helicopter. The reason I say this is because a helicopter in the sky takes a while to go out. And you're just going to be stuck there under airstrikes, bringing about 6 kills, 6 to 9 kills per use. There's one of these where I'm pretty sure I get 10 kills in this game with one, and it's just, if you want to quickly use that, that is a good way to, in fact, get the kills quickly, and you want to just try and even it out to die and get the kill streaks and use them to your advantage again. So, next what I want to talk about is just practice. Practice the game, practice playing, practice every single bit of it so you know what your favourite guns are, how you play. You might be a, an assault rifle guy, you might be an LMG, you might be a quick scoper, no scoper, just a regular sniper, you might enjoy some machine guns. It's completely up to your style of play. But for this particular style of play on shipment, it's fast paced. Now there's a lot of people who use the RPD and st stand back and they try and spawn kill, but they don't really work when you're on your own because people can get around you, your teammate ain't there to help you and it's just, you want to be there. So I, even, I say use a submachine gun, put Matt Redom on so you you're gonna die a lot, it's gonna happen, it's inevitable. So that'll just get you the kills if you die. And then there's just, you just wanna use the AK, 47U, P90, any hit, some machine gun effect. Cause you bring it up quick and you can react as quick as you can cause it's the quickest gun to react with. <laughs> so I would recommend a submachine gun, Maradon stopping power and Bandoila, just so you have all the ammo, everything you need and you can get the most amount of kills from your class, from your sensitivity, from understanding the map, the spawns, the places, and I just want to make you understand all of that, and I hope this video kind of brings that to light, kind of brings the methods like that to bring. Like, there is no sound where, like, you cannot go into a match and like, I'm going to get the most if I follow this, because players could be doing the same, they could be playing you and you're falling into traps and that, and they understand, but it's 
four, the kind of clueless, the kind of those that if you can outsmart someone, if you can pop around the corner, make sure you've gone one way and then bang, you come back out. You've got to be aggressive in this game, you can't shoot, see someone and then sit back and wait for them to fall on you, because when you do that, six will do it. So you want to go straight at them, surprise them, stand in the irregular spots, so you got to use stuff like that. Like If you're taking a flag, you could hide behind something or you could uh, lay down in plain sight and shoot them because they're expecting you to be behind something so they're not going to look at you. Just little things that I do that kind of make me get them high uh, games, because in most games I do get up quite a lot of kills and I am at the top of most games, four kills. I'm not a very team player, but it can happen where I do use teamwork, but hopefully this brings that to light, brings anything that you can do to maximise the kills on shipment. On other games, you need to put these together but use different guns classes what suits it and what suits you and you just want to at the end of the day get the most skills that you can and i really hope that this kind of helps out in some sort of way makes you think a little bit more into the mechanic makes you think more into how it's going to happen how you're going to turn on a player how you're going to react to something or if you need to go around that corner already reacting already thinking someone ahead someone's there and that you got to be ahead of the game so at the end of the day this is hopeful uh, some sort of tips just a few tips that will help anyone out in the game to understand. I've, I should put on screens where they'll spawn that like, throughout this video so you should be seeing that and if you enjoyed this video leave a like. If you want more like this subscribe and if you want to see good gameplays, reviews, daily content again subscribe and let me know what you want to see. So peace out guys, hope you enjoyed this uh, video, much love.